Hello viewers, uh, welcome to this uh, Python programming, uh, course on Python programming. So in this uh, sequence of videos, I am going to explain uh, the Python programming, various aspects of Python programming. So that in detail, I am going to uh, present several aspects of Python programming. So how to write the Python program, so how to use uh, various concepts that are available in Python programming and how to become uh, an expert in writing the Python programs and what are the difference between Python 2 and Python 3 and what are the various versions that are available and how to use the various IDE tools and how to finally the outcome of this course will be like you know getting a good job related to the Python oriented domains okay so let's not waste time uh, let's start so once again I welcome you all for this Python programming so once again i would like to emphasize that this is a series of lectures it is not going to be complete in a one lecture so it's a series of lectures so topic wise uh, uh, i'm going to make uh, videos uh, video lectures and these lectures will be you know uh, available to you access uh, in the youtube so let us uh, start it so in this today's class so first i will speak about you know uh, python basically so you know python so python it is nothing but it is a general purpose programming language so basically python so it is a general purpose okay it is a general purpose programming language so when when i say it is a general purpose so that means python can be applied to any domain it can be applied to many domains in fact so what do you mean by that many domains so see these are the uh, like you know uh, areas okay uh, various domains domains for which python can be applied are like these are all i'm i'm, I'm giving you uh, you know uh, like you know not full list i'm giving you a small list only okay for example so artificial intelligence artificial intelligence okay then uh, uh, machine learning sorry it's b learning okay then uh, see you can see like you know big data so it's a big data data analysis people used to call with so many names okay then you can say iot internet of things things okay then followed by you know ce it is like you know cyber security okay then uh, like you know you can become a web developer or like web development okay then uh, you can become or you can apply these to something like you know uh, g this is okay you can app development okay then you can uh, use it for you know game development you can develop various games i then uh, you can become a software development or software developer okay then uh, you can become like you know robotic engineer okay then k is uh, you know like you know artificial neural networks okay then uh, uh, you can you can you can apply this python to something like you know uh, image processing processing then you can use it for just a minute yeah we can use it for you know image processing then animations okay then uh, you can use this for you know you can use this for graphical user interface applications that is gui GUI. okay like this python can be used in several domains so these are all the domains few i have been listed there are so many other areas also there 
so that's why it is applied to many 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 domains that's the reason you know python is called as general purpose there are general purpose programming language but the fundamental difference between the most of the languages and python is python is an open source it is an open source so probably that could be the reason why you know python is getting you know a lot of uh, importance when you compare uh, the trend of you know uh, of preferred languages okay so python is 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 trending at the top as in today in 2022 you know python is the one of the most prominent language which has been which has been used by so many people all over the globe not only in india not only in some country in fact it is a top most trending programming languages when you compare it with any other languages okay so that's that this this much importance python is so now every industry can use it a manufacturing industry can use it a software industry can use it a quality checking engineer can use it so everywhere from the starting of the product development till the ending of the product development so at any stage you can use python you can create the applications with python you can develop the python related applications in so many devices another wonderful thing about the python is see there are some programming languages which uh, will be used exclusively for several purposes okay uh, means that language can be used for one particular pur purpose okay for example there are some languages like you know uh, which will be used only for the development of the games and there are some languages which will be exclusively used for you know app developments like that but python is not like that you know python it also got technical computing ability so probably that is the reason why the people are using uh, you know this python for like you know artificial intelligence machine learning big data uh, iot so these these applications really do require you know a lot of computational effort so that effort will be simplified by using python so that's why a lot of courses are coming out like you know uh, data science using python uh, machine learning using python artificial intelligence using python probably security cyber security using python so that's what so it has got uh, it has got uh, uh, several features almost it has got the features of all the programming languages so python you know it's that's why it is more general 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 purpose uh, it is a general purpose programming languages okay so uh, these are all the various domains so what you have to understand from this is so if you learn python if you are good in python if you are skilled in python then you can work in your interested domain so for example if you learn any some other language uh, so probably which can be applied for that specific applications so you have to start your career in that particular domain only and you can't switch over if you want to switch over then ultimately you have to learn another thing another uh, maybe specific tool but python it can be applied everywhere so you can settle down in your interested domain that is the one of the you know outstanding feature of the python which is you know really attracting most of the technocrats most of the engineers to work uh, to learn the python to obtain the skills in python and to uh, show the ability of you know application of the knowledge using python okay so this much important it is okay so lot more interesting facts i'm going to give about python but in this session i would like to uh, tell you like what are the topics that i'm going to cover okay so uh, this is that these are the these are the uh, topics these are the topics like i'm going to cover so as part of this course as part of this particular course i'm going to cover uh, these topics okay so first thing we will start with our you know we will start with the uh, intro introduction to python okay so introduction means like you know uh, what is python how that name it has got name called python and what is this a base background history of python okay and who invented that python who created that python what is the necessity behind that and what are the other programming languages so when you compare this python with java so which is better and uh, and what are compared to c c++ so whatever be that you know good programming languages are there what are the trending programming languages are there so when you compare with them whether how, what is the uh, you know uh, state of python so whether it is powerful uh, or uh, such kind of aspects also we are going to cover okay after that then i will clearly discuss about you know installation of python so how to install 
how to install the python so when python installation you know you can use python uh, for in any operating system for example you can use it for windows you can use it for linux you can use it for unix you can use it for mac you can use it for you know android you can use it for you know ios so in any operating systems it is possible to install python and you can start your work as early as possible okay so that means uh, how to install uh, so python for various operating systems okay and how to install the latest versions and how to upgrade to the latest versions if you are using like you know any old version so all these things will be discussed then after that then i am going to uh, clearly explain you about uh, the ide tools that are used for python so what is an ide tool basically ide stands for integrated development environmental tool so how we can use this uh, such kind of tools and uh, how many tools are there like uh, i will just name i don't write here i don't write here so basically like you have python shell you have jupyter notebooks you have google colab and uh, you have spider you have anaconda you have pydroid so we have pycharm so like that okay so at um, there are many not one there are many 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 id tools are there so i'm going to explain about each and every id tool what are the features of those uh, individual tools and how to make use of those features and uh, you know uh, like uh, which is the best tool ultimately uh, so what what kind of applications you are interested in making then which what tool uh, to, uh, is the best one so these are the things that i'm going to cover okay in this particular uh, okay uh, in this particular uh, thing after that then i am going i am going to cover about you know like uh, basics of python programming basics of python uh, programming so this means uh, the fundamental the fundamentals are that essential things uh, which are required uh, uh, to become a programmer if you want to start writing the python program so you should know about you know like uh, some variables how to define the variables how to assign the values to variables okay then how to override the variables okay and the basic fundamental things these are like how to write the input and output statements so these are the things that uh, you are going to uh, we are going to discuss and i'm going to explain about these things after that then we will start our discussion on the most important topic that is data types in python so what are the various data available data types uh, in python and uh, like you know how many data types are there like you know there are many data types are available in python there are you know fundamental data types and there are advanced data types so uh, n number of data types are available in python so uh, we will discuss about each and everything okay after that then we will i'm going to explain about you know programming constructs okay so what do you mean by this programming construct so basically these are two types like you know you have uh, uh, looping constructs you have uh, you know conditional constructs so all these things we are discussing uh, we are going to discuss okay so then after this i'll be covering about you know uh, like uh, defining the functions in python how we can use functions okay so functions in python so means there are basically three types of functions for example we have a user defined function we have a predefined function and we have anonymous function these are the uh, main uh, three classes of functions that we have okay so i'm going to explain about all of these three uh, next after this then i'll be explaining about you know files handling in python how we can handle um, files okay so this is what i'm going to explain okay once this is done after completion of this so i'll be explaining about you know exceptions is a very 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 important concept called exception handling exception handling and also about the errors okay errors in python uh, this i'm going to discuss after this i will be explaining about the concept of object oriented programming okay object oriented programming okay uh, using python okay so using uh, python probably if you know about uh, java then uh, you might be familiar with object oops concepts so in short it is called as oops afterwards okay if you don't know also even you can write uh, uh, even you can write the program in python even using the approach called object oriented programming which is a more sophisticated way of writing or uh, the practical way of writing the uh, programs okay so like this we will continue so probably uh, like you know i'm expecting that this this will be approximately a series of maybe 30 to 40 lectures 30 to 40 classes 
so i would like to cover as many as examples as many examples as possible uh, according to the convenience okay i will try to take some simple examples and also the best possible examples okay throughout the course uh, like this this course will continue okay so uh, in the next video i am going to talk about the basics of uh, python just i am going to give the introduction in detail introduction uh, of python like uh, i will start from the history of programming so for for this video uh, i'm stopping at this point okay if you're having any queries or any suggestions regarding uh, my video lectures please post uh, your query or post your thing as a um, you know a suggestion uh, in the comment box thank you